Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This video is going to be all about my highlighters. I'm going to show you every single highlighter I own, uh, whether it's cream, loose, uh, single, palette, everything like that. I'm going to show you all of my highlighters. I will swatch every single one of them for you. And yeah, but uh, exciting it's a it's it's the exciting video i've been wanting for i've been waiting for this for a while um it's a little bit tough because i have a lot of highlighters and i need uh i do want to do swatches so it took a little bit longer than i expected it to take if you like collection videos please go ahead and give video a thumbs up uh, please subscribe before you leave and i will have in the description box the link uh to uh, my collection uh, 2020 uh playlist um and it will also be in the cards above if you want to see other videos um you know collection videos i have blush bronzer uh powder setting sprays and all that and there's gonna be more coming uh now if i have highlighters that would be a highlighter bronzer kind of thing um, i'm saving those for my uh face palette video that will be coming i think after this one uh, like the next collection video will be that one so let's go ahead and get started i'm gonna move the all of the the palettes to the side. We're not gonna start with palettes. I think we'll, we'll just go ahead and get started with singles. But all the palettes, I'm gonna go ahead and move over here. All right, I'm ready. I got, I have uh, regular makeup wipes today. I placed an order on Glam Light and I wanted to get the free shipping. Um, so I did add some wipes to there, um, to my order. I try not to use these because they're just kind of a waste, but for a, a video like this, it's probably a lot easier. Let's see how these works. Um, let's, let's, let's get started. Um, let me move these out of the way. And uh, start with these over here. Um, I'm gonna save my creams to the end um these are creams are these all creams yes i believe so these are creams so we're gonna save them to the end we're gonna start with these we'll start with these over here uh this is by catrice and this is the sungasm uh face and body highlighter so i um i haven't used it did i use it on my face yet i think i used it maybe one time oh my goodness this guy is so intense i know why it's been sold out for such a long time so there's that one that's sungasm let's do this one next to it um this is the mark jacobs highlighter this is the uh, omega glaze and this is shade uh, jet girl um this is a little bit intense so this is definitely more of a blush uh, topper for me but it's so pretty uh let's do this nablo one. Oh, you have a hair on the ground it's my hair uh this is the shade this is the sun glazing this is the shade privilege i do have i own three of these one is definitely a blush so that's in my blush drawer and then there's two in here so there's privilege let me grab the other one and this is the shade Amnesia. Ooh, this is so pretty too. Ooh, look at that. Oh man, those are so nice because they don't show any texture on the skin when you apply them. So there's that. I gotta keep wiping my hands. Next, uh, how about we do this MAC? Well, I don't wanna do the MAC. I do wanna leave all the MACs together because I have a couple, a lot of MACs. Uh, let's do this Lorac. This one is freaking amazing. Well, okay, excuse my language. Uh, but this is by Lorac and this is the shade Daylight. This is so pretty, like so pretty. The formula of this guy is really stunning too. It's uh, it's so it's so beautiful on the skin. So easy to blend. Um, next, let's do this uh, Master Chrome by Maybelline. This is the only one of those that I own, and this is the shade Rose Gold Molten. I bought this one after I after I picked up the one by uh, Pat McGrath. Did I pick? Because a lot of people, like when uh, Pat McGrath came out with her single highlighter, which we'll swatch, hopefully we'll swatch right next to here. Um, uh, I was reading on Trend Mood and a lot of people were saying, oh, no, thank you. I'm going to pass on this and I'm going to pick up the one by Maybelline instead. So I was like, oh, are they supposed to be dupes? Like, 
but this came before this or are they supposed to be comparable but they actually are not here's the pat mcgrath one this is the shade champagne gold this is the skin fetish sublime highlighter in champagne gold um, this is really beautiful it's definitely more intense than the Maybelline one. It kind of reminds me of the Ofra highlighters. You know that uh, they just look so metallic. Here's that one. I'm trying to swatch. I know I, I don't like to swatch over my tattoo because it's really hard to see what the shade is like, but I mean, I, I have a lot to go through. Let's do this Ofra one. This is the shade Soho. Um, this, uh, I think I got this one in a uh um, oh, what is it called an ipsy bag they're so oh that's pretty it's really pretty i haven't used it on my face yet um, i don't want to forget that one by koki cosmetics and this is the soft glow highlighter um this also came in an ipsy and this was the reason why i ended up placing an order on koki cosmetic website because i was like okay it's time to try more things from koki look at that oh my goodness that is intense so beautiful okay let's do i'm gonna do i'm gonna do this one this is milk makeup and this is the shade lit this is a flex highlighter um my hand is clean here we go Ooh, this is intense too so pretty there it is right there and let's see maybe we do i do have a couple jouet let's leave that to the side this is by k voss and this is fairy dust highlighter and the shade is moonlight time to throw that packaging out so here it is oh, this looks so pretty i kind of debated oh putting this in a giveaway but oh man did i just hard pan it i guess i did here is the Kvos by Fairy Dust. It's really icy, too too icy for me. But sometimes, you know, on the face, they look a little bit different than they do on swatches. So there's that one. Now I'm gonna start doing on the other arm. Um, okay, let's do this LA Colors. This is the Strobing Illuminating Powder. My friend Mariella, I'll have her channel listed in the description box. She does, uh, she has collection videos as well. She does panning videos. She would love her channel. I'm pretty sure. I know a lot of you guys came from Mariella's channel to mine. Uh, she sent me this for Christmas. Oh, she said that she loves it. Ooh, I can see why. I have tried a bunch of items from LA Colors way back in the day and I really enjoyed them. It's maybe it's time that I place another order from them. Oh, that's pretty. Um, so thank you, Mariella. I love it. Uh, let's do this Kylie one. This is Ice Me Out by Kylie. This is, well, um, hmm. I, I kind of I'm debating whether I want to use this one or if I want to put it in a giveaway. It's still brand new. Maybe I should just put it in a giveaway. I would rather one of you guys have this one. And I will have my 1,000 subscriber giveaway coming up very soon. Maybe I'll film it this weekend. Um, so I, I don't know what's going to be in it, but I think I'm going to make it international. So I will probably include an Ulta gift card um, and less items, you know less makeup more you know gift card kind of thing let's do all of these here now um i know it's just you're like oh ronya have a system i know i'm not very prepared today i'm gonna leave the loose and these are creams so we're gonna go in the cream section and this is loose okay i'm gonna move those to the side and let's do those ones i think i can fit these in my arm and then we'll do your oh, okay yeah let's just keep going um uh, by laura geller this is one of my favorites this is gilded honey these are the baked gelato swirl illuminators um this used to be like the highlighter a couple years ago on youtube it's and for a good reason it's amazing also by laura geller and this is ballerina oh, one of my absolute favorite shades on me. Reminded me a lot of Opal by uh, Becca, but I like this one better, honestly. So there's that one. Also by Laura Geller, and this is Peach Glow. 
I, this guy needs a little bit more love. It's a little bit on the lighter side for my skin tone, but it's just so beautiful. And then also by Laura Geller, and this is the Diamond Dust. Ooh, this is a stunning highlighter. Like, this is like the perfect time of the year for it. There's that one. Okay. Let's do those Becca ones that I do have. I have three by Becca. Uh, one is Champagne Pop, which is this one, the Cult Classic. I do have a, a little pan in it, and maybe I should just like try to expand that pan. I mean, it's just stunning. Uh, Prosecco Pop, also by Becca. Let's do this guy. This is a little bit more yellow goldish. There's that. And then this is Lilac Geode. It's not as wearable, but it's a unique color and I do really like it. Ooh, did I just stab it with my nail? I absolutely did. There's Lilac Geode. Okay. Uh, one that uh, I think I got this in an Ipsy bag and it just blew me away. This is IBY. Um, the shade is Private Jet. This is stunning. I mean, look at this guy. If you had the choice between this one and this one, I would go with this one. I don't know price-wise what IBY Beauty sells for, is it? Yeah, IBY Beauty. Like, I don't know. Are they considered high-end? indie what are they considered i'm not sure but look at that that is so beautiful okay i can fit a couple more on this one arm so let's go ahead and do oh you know what i'm gonna do those two um pure x barbie this was last year and this was this year um this is confident glow and this is dream glow uh i just these are oh so pretty they smell like um like a vanilla cupcake almost um we'll do separate swatches okay this one is too deep i wouldn't use this as a highlight but here we go Ooh, they're so pretty here they are and then the this one is the confident glow which was this year and i would just watch it like this the formula is just so soft on this i gotta be very careful there it is all right moving right along maybe we should do the mac ones right now here we are i think they'll just fit on one arm and then we'll do jouet right next to them here's jouet this is mac um is that it for mac you never know with me they'll probably be some oh but this is loose i'm saving the loose to the end one. loose highlighters to the end uh is that for it for mac 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 um yeah i think that's it for mac these are them so let's do those first um where do i want to start i think we'll start with these and then we'll do these okay um, let's do this one or this one. This is the newest one. This is double gleam. This is the extra dimension skin finish um, I gotta be careful because it's just like I Don't know I have to glue it somehow Ooh, there's highlight back there Ah. <laughs> okay, we're gonna swatch this side because I already got it on my finger So this is double gleam Ooh, that had been on my wish list for a long time so there it is let's do whisper of guilt next i don't have the pretty packaging of this guy because it used to be a holiday one and then they brought it out as a permanent collection and this is the beaming blush this guy is so beautiful too look at this one Ooh, that's beautiful and then the last one of these I have is Show Gold. Oh my goodness, these are just stunning. There they are. Really pretty highlighters from MAC. Here are those. Now let's do these ones. Uh, this is in the shade Global Glow. 
yeah the, these are the mineralized skin finish i do like to use this guy on top of a bronzer that's just like too matte or needs a little bit of a bam you know so there's that one it's not um super like it's not like they're not like these you know extra glowy this is the shade nuanced and i will i'm just gonna swatch it how i would normally apply it which is swirling everything together there's that and then the last one is soft and gentle another youtube classic or it used to be so popular there's that one okay i think i need to properly cleanse my hand those wipes so far are going doing well um Let's do this one. This is the Aladdin collection, and this is always one jump ahead. I just love the embossment on this guy. I mean, look at that. I, I have a thing for Aladdin. I, it used to be like the movie when I was growing up, or one of my favorite movies. There's the Aladdin one. I'm going to do Snow Flush. This is another extra dimension. Skin finish. This was a holiday a couple years ago, but then they brought the shade back last year. And I kind of wish they didn't. Because I like its uniqueness. <laughs> there it is over here. And then the Selena Maxelina La Leyenda, I guess. This is a little bit deeper for me, but I I mean look at how beautiful that is like the the floral print uh embossment there it is so i believe these are all of my i think these are all of my mac highlighters like singles okay now let's do those jouet one oh that's not jouet that's bobby brown i do have another jouet there it is uh this is the molten glow by jouet um I think it's supposed I think it's bigger than the other ones here's molten glow this is supposed to be face and body like woo that's intense okay next is rose quartz this looks a little bit deeper in the pan but on the skin it's it's beautiful I'm gonna do it over here you can still see it there it is it's not as deep as it looks in the pan and then the last one is skinny dip again they look i don't know why some highlighters look so deep and dark in the pan but actually they buff out beautifully there it is i love these the formula of these is really amazing too um i'm just gonna pull these out these are i have a couple by tarte by the balm we'll do this is a cream I'm gonna put it over there. Let's do these next. Um, I'm gonna do swat. I, I'm gonna swatch these next to each other because they, I think they're just the the same. This is Anastasia Amrezi highlighter. Um, this is a really pretty highlight. Like I, you know, the hype was real on this guy. There it is. It looks so beautiful on the skin. Does not emphasize any texture. And this is the Skin Lights by Revlon. And I think this is one of the Daybreak. Daybreak Glimmer. I mean, uh, they look absolutely the same on the skin. The formula is so similar too. So there's those two. Now let's go ahead and do those tart ones. I don't think I have more tart. Um, but oh my goodness, most of my highlighters are high end. Whew, just noticed that. Uh, this is Tar the Man Eater one. Um, the shade is Temptress. Where's that? Oh my gosh, it looks so close. It looks very similar to these two, but definitely different formula. This is Tarte Sparkler. Clean my hand real quick, my fingers. This is darker for sure. It smells so good. Yeah, this is so deep. And then the last tart one is the exposed highlight. Um, this was kind of this was so popular and kind of like I do like it, but it has like glitters in it, like chunks of glitter in it. 
Not sure why. Doesn't show up here, but when you look in here, you can see them. So there it is on the skin. Um, now let's do, I'm going to do those two by the balm. This is Mary Lou, another uh, classic here on YouTube. Mary Lou. I, this guy needs a little bit more love from me. There she is. Bonnie Lou. This is deeper. Definitely deeper. If you have a medium to deep skin tone, this would be stunning. There it is over here. Um, and now let's do this uh, Lancome. This is Luminous Gold. Again, another deeper highlight. And then let's do this Kiko Milano one. This is the Arctic Holiday Eyeshadow, but I do like it as a highlighter. I think it just looks absolutely stunning. There it is. Okay, we're uh, not that many uh, singles left. So i try to finish them all right now. Okay, um, this one is kind of on the creamy side, so we're going to move it over. Uh, let's, do, let's do the Wet n Wild ones first. And I do have a Wet n Wild that's uh, loose. Uh, let's do these four. Uh, we'll start with this one. This is the Midnight Moon. <laughs> this is so unique. And every time I do a declutter video, I'm like, I want to get rid of this guy, but I ended up keeping it. It's just so unique. Um, I love the mermaid tail detail. The shade is just like pretty. So I always hold on to it. So there it is. Uh, this is by Wet n Wild. This is Fergie collection. And this is the shade Hollywood Boulevard. I love this thing. I do not know why. I mean, they kind of got rid of these. Or maybe they still have them. And now they're not called the Fergie collection. They're just different. Um, but this one was my favorite. They had three or four of these shades. And this one is my absolute favorite. And the only one I kept. So there it is. Um, this is the Bloom Time. These are the their traditional highlighters that, you know most popular. I got rid of a lot of these. I decluttered a lot of them. But I kept the ones that are unique. So here's this one. And then this one is Winter Falls in LA. And this was their uh, Fire Ice collection. Again, this is just a, a unique highlighter. And I, I've just been holding on to it because it's so unique. So there's that one. These are the ones by Wen Wild. Um, let me do... Let's do this guy. This is by Bare Minerals and this is the shade Free. Ooh, this is a beautiful highlight. Look at that. That's a stunning highlighter. There's that one. By Color Drain, this is the shade Selfie. The formula of this guy is just, hmm. Feels so soft. There it is. Um, by Essence, this is the Pure Nude, the original Pure Nude. They they came out with like Sunlight. This is Be My Highlight. I think there's like Be My Sunlight. I don't know. But this is the original one. <clears throat> one that's kind of comparable to it. You're like, is this even going to be a highlight? But it's, you know. Uh, this is by Laura Geller. <laughs> totally opposite side of the spectrum price-wise. And this is the shade Highlight 01. This is the Matte Radiance Baked Powder. Um, I mean, how's that going to be a highlight? But it is. Kind of like that Pure Nude one. This looks so beautiful on the face. It just looks kind of like how the sunlight does, you know? So there's that one. Um, there's just a couple random ones. Ooh, I had another Ofra. Let's do these two here, or these four. Um, this is by Milani, and this is the shade Sun Glow. This is the Strobe Light Highlighter in the shade Sun Glow. This is intense. There's that one. Uh, by Physicians Formula, this is the Pure Nude, Natural Nude. I mean, those were like, ooh, okay. Totally forgot about these in here. I just hate the freaking packaging. Um, again, you can like target your finger, your brush, and but I would just mainly I would go in this portion here. So I'm just gonna do that. There it is. That's an intense swatch, but 
I love this thing. I've, I, I mean, I love that thing. Let's do, I'm gonna do I Love Sarai, and this is the shade Bathe. Um, this is one of those highlights that looks so dark in the pan and swatched, but on the face, they just look amazing. Look at that. I mean, look at that formula too. Wowie. That's a new word for me. Wowie. Okay, there's that. Um, can we fit a couple more on this arm? Do we need to? Probably not. We. I think I can fit these on the other arm. Uh, let's do, I have two by Bobbi Brown. This is a Pink Glow. Nourish Pink Glow. So pretty. This is the shade Golden Hour. This definitely would be my preferred one over the two. It just would suit my skin tone more. Okay, by Pretty Vulgar, this is, ooh, something break in there. Um, this is the shade Shimmering Swan. Um, I think the shade Shimmering Swan. This is, I mean, if you had a lighter, if I had a lighter skin tone, this would be amazing. But there's that, it's the formula is so good on these. There's this one. Okay, by uh, Fenty Beauty. This is the only one I kept in my collection. I have three of these. I kept the uh, Girl Next Door and Chic Freak Duo. Uh, these, I have to be very careful. It's so easy to hit hard pan on these. And I'm making sure that my fingers are not wet, but there they are. I kept them because they're just pretty. This shade especially is, whoo, there it is. It's this one here. And let's do, let's do this Ofra one. This is the shade Blissful. Oh, this is stunning, you guys. There it is. There's Blissful. Um, let's do Persona, and this is the shade Zuma. Oof, the formula. Ay, ay, ay. See, it's like, ugh. It's amazing. I would compare it a lot to the Dose of Color formula. I Not shade-wise, but formula. So there's that. Oh, my things are getting dirty. Got me off. But I was talking about NARS for the France. Um, they apply much better with a brush than they do swatch with a finger. So there's this one. And then the other NARS one that I do have, this is a mini and this is the shade Capri. Again, these like, they just apply so much better with a brush than they do swatch. The formula is just so, I don't know. I don't know what, how to describe it. But there it is. There's that one. And I just dug into it horribly. And then the last two I have here in front of me, <laughs> look at that, it transferred to my uh, bicep. <laughs> uh, I have this Too Faced one. This is Love, Fl Love Light. You light up my life. There's that. And then the last one is I have the Dior one. And this is a rouge blush in the shade is Golden Nights. Um, I know when I first pulled it into my stash this last time, I was like, what in the world? But I discovered that if I apply my, uh, uh, like a setting mist and then go in with this guy, ooh, it is so beautiful. I know it's just going to be like, what are you talking about, Rania? But let's see, let me, let me just show it to you wet. Okay. I'm going to wet my arm a little. Is it wet? This is completely dry now. Okay, and now I'm gonna go with this guy. There you go. Okay, point made. <laughs> I'm just so happy that I was able to find a way to make this guy work because it was a little bit pricey. So these are all of my singles, not including my single creams or single loose. Here are they all. 
All right, my friends, I'm gonna go ahead and end this video right here. Um, I'm just gonna have to save my creams, loose, and palettes to another for uh, for part two. Stay tuned for that. I will have it up in a couple days. Um, I hope you enjoyed part one. I swatched 65 single highlighters. For part two, I will be swatching 20 creams. Uh, how many loose do I have? Now I gotta look it up. I have eight loose, 20 creams, 13 palettes um, that have 40 pans in them. So a good, a good, uh, so today I swatched 65. Next time I will be swatching 68 highlighters. Um, again, I hope you enjoyed part one. Please stay tuned for part two. The video is already too long and uh, I just wanted you to enjoy it and not be bored. Please subscribe. If you haven't subscribed already, please give this video a big thumbs up and stay tuned for part two. Thank you for watching. Bye.